Baby, here's your daily reminder to drink some water, unclench your jaw, and find a reason to smile. I love you, and I'm proud of you. Hey, girl. Beautiful Virgo, how are you doing? My name is Simply Velka, and today I'm going to be doing your weekly tarot horoscope. So if you find any tarot cards that resonate with you in this weekly horoscope reading, Virgo, be sure to let me know in the comments below which cards do and how they do, because that is how I keep up with you, is through the comments as well. If you enjoy this tarot reading or you just enjoy my vibe, uh, Virgo, I would really appreciate it if you were to take the extra step to give this video a like and subscribe, Virgo, because it does help out my reading channel a lot. No worries, I'm super appreciative of it when you guys take that extra step to support me in that way as well. Remember to use your intuition in this reading today, Virgo, because put it in perspective, just a man reading some tarot cards to you. You know your situation better than I ever possibly could, so take the cards that resonate, leave what doesn't. I believe my cards are just here to give you some food for thought, a perspective for you to consider, but never making the choice in your life because I feel like it's your life to live, Virgo, not mine and not these tarot cards. So with all that being said, let's just get into your weekly horoscope reading now. So I pulled some cards so I could see where it is you are at right now, Virgo. And honestly, full on transparency, honey. Uh, Virgo, you guys were the absolute hardest reading that I have ever had to do. I never struggled so much with doing a tarot reading. Uh, I've tried multiple times with you guys this week. Uh, never struggled so much in my life. And so um, even with these cards aside, I, it really shows to me like, how chaotic y'all's lives are right now in some way because it was just like i felt like the energy was just so all over the place it felt like we were starting out with one section and then from this one section because it was like the nucle nucleus or something it caused like an aftermath of like a bunch of other things so it's just really hard for me to decipher it with tarot without getting myself overwhelmed even where you know it just wasn't it wasn't good honey so trying again uh so let's show you these cards now <clears throat> we have the release card archangel azriel <laughs> excuse me number 13 equaling to four for numerology so down the number four uh to look up later also virgo archangel azriel is an archangel reaching out to you this week if you, whatever your per spiritual practices are honey none of my business right i just like to let you know your options virgo same thing with Archangel Sandalphon. The Unity card, number five. Write down the number five as well. Empress card, Archangel Gabriel. Uh, number three. So you have four, five, and three, four, five, technically. And so if you were to add those numbers up, that would equal to three, again, all in total when you do sit down. So number three is going to be your number this week, Virgo. Uh, and then you have the Queen of Air, or the Queen of Swords. So, funnily enough, Virgo, I, even though I've tried to do your reading like five or six times, um, getting halfway through, all the way through, and just not liking how the message was expressed, um, your readings have been, your cards rather, have been extremely consistent um, throughout the entire, uh, each attempt. So, I at least like that. It lets, me know, and it lets me know that I'm connected to you guys, Virgo, and not me just going more crazy than I usually am. Um, but it does signify to me, even with these major arcanas here, Virgo, uh, all these major arcanas, it talks about major shifts, right? You're releasing something, you're setting boundaries, I see this. You're waking up, right? I feel. You're waking up and really uh, taking assessment of what's in your current space and what is there to serve you and is serving you and getting rid of and putting distance between you and the things and actions and people that aren't serving you anymore. Uh, this is a really good time for you, Virgo, just because you have Archangel Sanophon uh, present in your path right now. So because of this, this is a sign that he's going to be bringing people into your life. But I'm getting a little bit ahead, aren't I, Virgo? Let's see where these cards want to be put. Right? We're going to be putting them in this way. So we're going to start with your release card, uh, Archangel Azriel first. This card says a uh, the end of a phase or situation, Virgo, spiritual transformation and moving on, right? So let's figure out where it is that you are even moving on from why is this like yeah that's first and foremost why i want to figure out for god is like why are you in this space of release let's go what happened here that puts you in this state knight of pentacles in the reverse 
So is this like a situation of where uh, some type of night, some situation that was supposed to bring some sort of stability, stability into your life, do the very opposite, right? Or is this a situation of uh, acknowledging, Virgo, of what's been holding you back and keeping you in your comfort zone, right? Because the Nine of Pentacles is a card of going out of your comfort zone, uh, going out into uncharted territories. And so when it's in the reverse, it's the very opposite. So, yeah, I see this as a storyline of you almost, yeah, just acknowledging what it is that has been holding you back. It's almost, I feel like you already acknowledged, like, what your Knight of Pentacles in the reverse is. Like, that's not really a struggle. So, let's get a little bit more detail on this, though. What is this Knight of Pentacles, like, the cause of it? The Strength card coming in here. So this is, like, a definitely, uh, this is my Shadow Work card, Virgo. But this is also a card of, um very much so uh, a challenge of some sort now i want to see if this is like a mental challenge or is this more so like a physical challenge and so what i mean by this Virgo, is that is this like a mental hurdle that you have to go through with yourself so like a habit right maybe some of you guys are um quitting smoking or getting on a, a different diet a healthier diet or working out more virgo um you know, to, and releasing away the old habits that you had, right? Maybe you invested a lot of time before into things that just were a waste of your time. The Emperor card, yeah, those in the reverse, distractions. This is what it is that's been, what it is that you have been needing to release. And I feel like you are, whatever has been putting you in, I'm showing you all the cards in the up right now, just so you can appreciate the artwork, um, Virgo. But whatever that was putting you in this uh emperor in the reverse where you weren't feeling empowered where you weren't doing any forward progression or at least you felt like you weren't doing uh forward progression or enough forward progression virgo so i see you making the hard choices really holding yourself accountable on the actions that you need to take and are should avoid uh even virgo to uh continue elevating yourself in your life now hmm do we want to even dive into this a little bit more, Virgo, before we go into your next card? I don't think we do. I think we kind of fleshed that out. So let's get into this Queen of Air or this Queen of Swords, uh, because air is sword energy or vice versa. So uh, this card says objective decision making, clearing away all that no longer serves you and seeing the humor in a situation, Virgo. So this is this is the uh, card I'm probably the most brutal on because this is a card of where you set boundaries no matter at what cost, right? This is usually a reactionary thing. Uh, but, you know, let's pull some cards here. What, what, because this is, I want to see... I want to get insight on what caused you to even be here in the first place, Virgo. What has you in this place of like now s needing to like clear away these things? Page of Swords. So it's something you've had your eye on for a while. Something that's been a lingering thought in your head for quite some time. Eight of Pentacles. And you're just learning from it. Yeah, this is just seemingly like you're learning from like, I don't want to say you're learning from your own mistakes, Virgo, because you don't have to be making your mistakes to be learning, right? But this is more so in a, a situation of um, very much so like with that Empress card that we have going that we'll get into next. Uh, you are just really in this place of uh, allowing yourself to be a student in some aspect of your life, not being willing to like even admit to Virgo that you don't know all the answers with something. And so now it feels like, you know, funnily enough, you usually with the Queen of Swords that I'm always just kind of like, mm, be careful. But with you, Virgo, it seems to be like you're not too heavy into this Queen of Swords energy. It seems like because you've had your eye on this for a while, and this Eight of Pentacles does bring a lot of comfort to me, Virgo, in how, at least the, how receptive you are towards being willing to be malleable right now. I feel like that's going to be your best gift this week, is to be able to just not really be stuck on one specific thing and just allowing yourself to go with the flow of things, you know? You know, if your goal is to, let's say, like, lose weight, right? You may start out being like, all right, I'm going to do insert diet here, right? Keto, right? But then you won't be so rigid in your diet in that 
uh, you won't be open to criticism. You, 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 that you will, you know, maybe shift. Like maybe you won't always just do keto. It's in that vein, right? Um, it's very much so like, you know, maybe if you tried keto or like anytime you tried to lose weight before it was through an unhealthy way, you get the point, right? The star card, because I feel like this is, you've had enough. Like you, this is something I'm hearing is that you've enough is enough for you, Virgo. You, you, it's almost just like it's, I'm hearing like it's crunch time for you now. Now, I don't know if this was caused by something again, like this could just be very well, like, um, you... Uh, getting into this Empress energy, right, that I was talking about, uh, Virgo, where you are just in this state of, like, ready to continue on in your journey, ready to fast pace and stuff, right? The Empress card says, lavish in abundance, give birth to your dreams, nurturing yourself and others. So, yeah, this is my card. Whenever I see this card, it makes me extremely happy, Virgo, because this is letting me know this is a person that's listening to the universe right now and allowing themselves to be guided and not taking things personally, right? And that's the biggest thing. It makes sense as to why um, I feel more at peace with my Virgos in this Queen of Swords energy when normally I'm a little bit more up in arms with my people about this because it's like you have this nice Empress energy balancing this out, Virgo. So what do I mean by this? It's just like where you could potentially deal with the cynicism of the Queen of Swords with something or where it's just like, oh, well, giving up on love, might as well, like, whatever, 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 right? Being overtly rigid and really severe, critical. Uh, the Empress is where it's just like, ah, it's not personal, honey. I know it's not personal, but I still need to make those uh, cutthroat decisions, right? It's a little bit of, it's literally the epitome of tough love. This combination here is the epitome of tough love, so. Yeah, let's now get into this more. Uh, I kind of want to see what this journey looks like for you in this Empress. Let's get a little bit more detail. Let's shuffle this a little bit more. It's just so interesting to me, Virgo. I definitely, please, please, please. I know it's such a cliche thing for like all YouTubers do, honey, asking for like comments, but I'm really so curious, Virgo, to hear about what's going on in y'all's lives right now because, like, truly, and I'm probably still going to just title it the, the, this way, obviously, you'll know, where it's just like y'all are just like my hardest reading ever. Like, I've never done hundreds, if not thousands, of readings, and definitely thousands at this point of readings, and y'all were just very complex. So the moon card coming in. I want to get a little bit more detail now. King of Cups, as well as the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse again for you. Huh. Virgo. This is a situation of where, did you get like some random like bad news or like something kind of like happened that was like a little bit of a scare? Uh, for you, Virgo, did you get like, cause this is screaming like wake up call energy of where it's just like being like, all right, I gotta start taking things seriously. Now, it doesn't have to be severe in the sense of where it's like, you know, you got a wake up call and like why you need to lose weight or whatever, right? It doesn't have to be severe, but it's, it's almost like something spurred this, right? You had a wake up call and like something like held a, like a mirror in front of you and forced you to look at yourself and be honest with yourself. Not to say that you were delusional before Virgo, but it's just like your eyes were opened even wider than before. Like the, your vision became even more clear with something. And so in that, um, in that, uh, in, in response to that rather Virgo, um, you're taking matters into your own hands. You're just being an adult about it. Um, Queen of Swords. Yeah, you're just answering this in the best way that you know how to. Um, and so I like this. This You're not allowing yourself to be in a rut or falling into too deep of a rut, right? You're handling, it's like you're handling business at this point. It's almost, interestingly enough, Virgo, I can't help but feel like, um, I don't mean this in a bad way, familiar enough, but uh, I keep on seeing like, a, like someone switching on and off the lights. And I kind of get the sneaking suspicion that this is like, an implication of um, turning, like, it's like for some of you Virgos, you've like turned off your emotions for now. And I, I honestly, normally would, again, I would chastise a Virgo for this, but I feel like, especially with y'all's situation, if what I'm feeling is true, 
uh, is definitely like the best way to like handle things so you can continue moving forward. So it seems like you guys have a pretty good idea of what it is you're doing, right? And so uh, this is to come, right? We have the Unity card, Archangel Sandalphon. This card says traditional viewpoints or methods, spiritual organization, seeking out mentors, and like-minded friends. Now, as I was saying before, um, I see the Unity card when Archangel Sandalphon appears. Uh, there's been this one consistent thing with Archangel Sandalphon in that you can kind of know that he's bringing, like, he's in the works of, like, connecting two people's paths together. Um, at least that's my experience. And so with this, I really like this because it's like now you, it's funny because you have all this Queen of Swords energy and releasing things, right? Uh, putting up strong boundaries, really just uh in that vein of just like letting go of what no longer serves you but you're having it quickly replaced with higher vibrational things right you know archangel sandalphon spirit whatever it is you subscribe to virgo they see your uh action and like clean making space spring cleaning and they're answering that with like a reward almost so let's see some extra clarifiers a bunch of cards fell out so let's see what's going on here Three of Wands. Now I feel like this card is actually in the upright. We have the Ten of Swords. We have the Hermit card. And we have the Eight of Cups. Yeah, so you're in this place of like you identified. Um, hmm. Now Virgo, let me know what this this combination is about because this could be a situation of where you've I finally like I you know coming out of like a Stockholm syndrome with something and no longer or like the delusions of something that is actually harm you know again I I don't mean to heart like harp on people who smoke cigarettes like it's not in my business I mean what it is you do like don't have an opinion truly because it doesn't impact me but I'm just going to use cigarettes again um in the sense of like you know people who will like smoke or drink or what have you and it's just like you normally like most people will just be able to say it's like yeah this is obviously not good for me but it's what i enjoy right nothing wrong with that then you have other people who are just like will like try to pretend like it's not as bad as it is or it doesn't actually impact them and it seems as if like some of you virgos are coming out of this energy with something where it's just like you're no longer ignoring like the red flags or ignoring like um you're no longer delusional to something that actually just is toxic, right? That just is not serving you anymore. And so, interestingly enough, this kind of feels like a, just like a two thing, like a situation where something just is, isn't necessarily like meshing with you rather than it being too painful because you have the Hermit card and the Eight of Cups where it's just kind of like a situation where they're, uh you're with a crowd of people or you're in an environment and you're just like eh, you know what this just isn't my crowd this just isn't my vibe this just isn't for me right nothing wrong with the situation but you know you want to this you want to go out separate yourself from the situation and kind of do a little bit of soul searching right and so maybe before and it makes sense right if you start releasing things and people and habits and all of that from your life that were not benefiting you naturally you'll want to like self-reflect a little bit and be like well why were these things even brought to me in my life in the first place right when you make space you want to have a conversation with yourself and be like all right what is my personal style before i start buying a bunch of new decorations for my house what do what what spurs excitement in me right you're asking those questions and so i really like this energy for you virgo I really, really do. Chaotic week, but <clears throat> this is kind of like uh, just a little bit before like rain, the rainbows and sunshine. It's like the fun, like after like a chaotic storm or a thunderstorm, you see like the greatest rainbows. Um, but yeah, now my beautiful Virgos, we're going to be getting into your financial and love and social situations. Uh, so if you're interested in those spreads, stay along for that. We're going to start, Virgo, with your love and social situations this week. See what's going on there. See what quick insight we can get, what advice we can get from spirit in this regard. Mm -hmm. So you guys got the Five of Fire Life Experience card, Ten of Air, the Ten of Swords. So this is my card. Like this card, it literally says conflict for now. <laughs> like this is conflicting things. Uh, you have the Ten of Air. This is the Ten of Swords. 
um, the end of a notice it says the end of a difficult situation, but you, then you have the tower card as well, the life experience card. So it really reflects the general message in a sense of where it's like, again, you're really just getting rid of the things that have brought you pain because the tower moment shows to me that you're just doing away with all this. You're really just closing out. Take more so, I guess, Virgo, is take this as a sign that if you have been debating or if you recently cut someone out uh, from your life or you're just not sure, like, take this as a sign to absolutely do so, Virgo, because these cards are just, like, screaming closure and screaming just being like, end it here, like, don't, you know, be done with this. So... Very interesting with that, Virgo. Now, remember, this is for your love in social situations. So it doesn't have to be about relationships. It could just be like your coworker. It could be family, like, right? It's more than just love in our life, right? So <laughs> even though all, a lot of tarot readings make it seem like otherwise. So now let's get into my Virgo's financial and career situation. See what's going on there. I like what I see right off the bat coming in. All right, you guys can actually get a lot of cards for this. Four of Wands or Fire, Queen of wa uh, Cups or Water, Seven of Cups or Water, King of Pentacles or Earth, and King of Air or Swords. This is your money. <laughs> this is your uh, gold star or gold reading right here. You know, this is like the happy part, Virgo. I see a lot of things uh, looking up for you, but it's all in the name of Virgo. Uh, I can't help but feel like... You have to commit to a decision. Like, I feel like you have a lot of, like, options that you're considering, uh, Virgo, but there's just, like, some, like, you kind of just have to make a choice on one thing and do it with full confidence. Like, once you commit to something, uh, and have, ensure that it's actually, like, your calling, right? It's not just, like, you committing to, like, a nine, like, working a random nine to five that you have no passion about, right? This is definitely where it's, like, because here's the thing. With the Seven of Cups, this is, like, you're weighing out different options for things. You just don't know the right choice, right? Um, or you're just scared to make a certain choices because of what would happen after the fact. But with the King of Pentacles and the King of Air coming in here and the King of Earth... This lets me know just like taking matters into your own hands and really being in control of it. Um, truly, Virgo, this is your time to really do your best this week to really focus your energy on one specific thing, right? Don't spread yourself too thin. Don't dip your toes into too many things or have, you know, it's okay to try out different things. I don't want, I don't want to dismay you from that, Virgo, but don't try to do a bunch of projects at once. Take like, Invest your time into each project, um, a specific project each time, if that makes sense, rather than trying to do everything all at once, have, to have it take and do it in steps. And I feel like that's going to be what is the most profitable, profitable for you, Virgo. But uh, yeah, that's the reading that I have for you, Virgo, this week. If you enjoyed this tarot reading, be sure to give me a like and subscribe. Let me know in the comments below. And then also, Virgo, I do the weekly horoscope tarot readings for all the zodiac signs, not just Virgo. So if you have a friend that's into tarot, or even if they're not, send them their zodiac sign weekly horoscope, and maybe they'll find a tarot message that resonates with them. Until next time, though, Virgo, I love you so much.